Hello everyone. Welcome again to another Word for Today with Ray. What a blessing it is to sit with the Word of God in hand, looking at the words from the Creator of the universe who loves us and cares for us so much that He sent His Son Jesus to die on the cross for our sins. What a blessing. God wants us to know His Word. He gives us His Word. He gives us His Holy Spirit to teach us His Word. We're just an advantaged people. And if you're listening to the sound of my voice, I want you to count yourself greatly advantaged because you have the Bible, the living Word of God Almighty before you. And we can know this. He wants to teach us His Word. And He is our true teacher. He teaches us by the Holy Spirit. And so that's why we go to Him in prayer as we begin our study. So if you will, pray with me today. Heavenly Father, we bless you. We thank you. We give you glory, honor, and praise that you so deserve. You've given us your word. You've given us life. You've given us understanding, the ability to read your word, to hear your word. And we just ask that you would add its truths to our hearts today by your Holy Spirit and empower us to live according to those truths as we learn them. We're just, again, so grateful for you and for your word, and we want to give you praise for it. And we do so in Jesus' name. Amen. The title to today's lesson is, How Did Jesus Open Your Eyes? It's taken from the book of John, chapter 9, verse 26. The apostle John wrote how Jesus saw a man who was born blind and healed him by making clay, putting the clay in his eyes and having him washed in the pool of Siloam. The blind man's neighbors brought to the Pharisees him that aforetime was blind. And it was the Sabbath day when Jesus made the clay and opened his eyes. Then again, the Pharisees also asked him how he had received his sight. He said unto them, He put clay upon my eyes, and I washed, and do see. Therefore said some of the Pharisees, This man is not of God, because he keeps not the Sabbath day. Others said, How can a man that is a sinner do such miracles? And there was a division among them. They said unto the blind man again, What do you say of him that he has opened your eyes? He said, He is a prophet. But the Jews did not believe concerning him that he had been blind and received his sight until they called the parents of him that had received his sight. And they asked them, saying, Is this your son whom you say was born blind? How then does he now see? His parents answered them and said, We know that this is our son and that he was born blind. And these words spoke his parents because they feared the Jews, for the Jews had agreed already that if any man did confess that he was Christ, he should be put out of the synagogue. And therefore his parents said, He is of age, ask him. Then again called they the man that was blind and said unto him, Give God the praise. We know that this man is a sinner. He answered and said, Whether he be a sinner or not, I know not. One thing I know, that whereas I was blind, now I see. And in chapter 9 and verse 26 of his book, John shared how the religious leaders asked the blind man, How opened he your eyes? Where we read, Then said they unto him again, What did he to you? How opened he your eyes? The verse reads, Then said they to him again, What did he to you? John began with the words, Then said they to him again, which means, at that time, the Pharisees uttered, declared, proclaimed, and asked the formerly blind man another time, what did he to you, or what performance, act, or deed did Jesus do to you, formerly blind man? John shared how the Pharisees continued questioning the formerly blind man by asking him another time what Jesus did to him. The verse goes on to say, how opened he your eyes? John continued with the words, how opened he, which means in what way or manner did Jesus unfasten or unloose your eyes or your formerly blind man's physical eyes? John shared how the Pharisees continued their interrogation of the man who was formerly blind by asking him in what manner Jesus unloosed his physical eyes. When we consider John's words in this verse, we learn how persistent these religious leaders known as Pharisees were. They wanted to know what Jesus did to the man and how he did it. Rather than concentrating upon the fact that the man could see, they managed to look past the miracle and only desired to know the science of it all. God is the creator of the universe and nothing is impossible with him. Those who desire to have a personal relationship with God must believe in his son Jesus as their Savior and Lord. One must come to God in faith without knowing all the hows, whens, wheres, and whats and concentrate upon one thing, the who, 
And that who is Jesus, who loves every person and is willing to provide them with salvation and eternal life. Next time John shares how the blind man tells the Pharisees, I told you already and you did not hear. So read ahead and we shall join together then. Until tomorrow, there is more. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace as you continue to study his word in Jesus' name.